We've been across five different planets and a black hole. Now it's time to head back to ours. Which honestly, it looks really cool. Hey everybody, it's the McMaster 14. Welcome back to more Super Bomberman R. In the last episode, we took down Emperor Bugler and saved the universe from his attack. In this episode, it's, we're going to be heading to World 7, the bonus world, Planet Bomber. But before we do that, it's probably important to mention that once you beat once you beat Emperor Bugler, you can now go back and replay any of the planets that you want. So today we're not going to be doing any of that as, like I said, we're going to Planet Bomber, which looks absolutely awesome with that red moon. But enough of that, let's get into this. Several months have passed since the Bugler incident. The now peaceful Planet Bomber is celebrating a massive pet boom. Smarter than dogs and cuter than cats. A pet bollum for all households. Cuddly bollums, mistresses bollums, strong bollums. Raise them in any way you want. <sighs> bollums are so cute. I wish we could have one just like everyone else. Huh. Seems like you're in need of love, my little sister. <laughs> okay, leave it to me. You don't need a pet. All you need, dear sister, is my comfort. Hi, big bro. Oh, is that a bomb? Yeah, I was lucky enough to get the very last one. You all wanted one, right? We Lucky me. Oh, let, let me put it too. Bomberman brothers rush outside, chasing after the Balum, only to see that the town is full of rioting Balums going on a violent spree. What? What's happening? We've got to do something about this. Everybody, now's the time we use our powers that save the universe. Yeah! Balums are so rare that we have to get ours back. <laughs> That's why? You'd think that if the Bomberman brothers and sisters saved the world, you'd think that they would get one of the first Balms for free. Don't you think? Like, that makes a whole lot more sense. But nonetheless, since I'm too lazy to choose another Bomber, we're going to play as Believe one. in yourself! Hey, look at that. I actually loaded this sound. Also, I actually really like the music in here. Ooh, Bomber's great already. Oh, and just so you guys know, the, the AI in this level are actually really good. Like, these, these yellow guys, by the way, I think they, that they actually no are way. called them. They are actually really smart and smart enough to avoid a bomb. Alright, I think one, at least one of them is good. Actually, both of them. Once again, they finally get themselves screwed, and it's through the, the, what I've been saying since the beginning of the Let's Play about the AI of the enemies being smart. Now please stop being smart, cuz I don't want this to go on forever. Also, I guess these guys are called Balms because they look just like the, the Balms in the custom. Alright, more Bombs. Can I get some Blast upgrades now? Because that would be nice. Oh, and also, in case you couldn't tell already, since this, is a since this is the bonus level, it is bound to be really hard. And it is really hard. Got that guy. Or girl. Actually, I'm 
gonna start blowing up these bricks to see if I can get. Okay. Looks like I'm actually getting out. I'm actually getting kind of lucky here because these guys are just killing themselves. Wait for him to come down here. Got him! Here we go. Alright, now that is the first level down, and... That's actually probably the fastest I ever cleared one of these levels. No joke, by the way. But all five keys. They mentioned that I don't think we've seen since, I think, Planet Brainwave or Planet Timber Tree. Ooh, got a blast upgrade. And I don't want that negative blast downgrade. Yeah. Alright, and honestly, these these worlds are pretty hard. Like like Planet Bomber is, is definitely the hardest world in the entire game. And considering how well I did it on the rest of the game, you can probably get something gonna fail about a million times on this on this world. By the way, this world, this world was so hard and cost me so many continues that I actually started getting angry crying and actually overall raging because of it. So you can tell, this is no joke. Or maybe it kind of is a joke because it's kind of a jokey game. These, those purple guys, they work just like the, the drill guys from earlier levels. And they'll charge right at you and do stuff like that. Or not. Sometimes they're kind of blind. Are you there? Once again, these enemies keep disproving what I said about them being smart. So, I swear, I built that up so much since the very beginning of the Let's Play about these enemies being really smart. And now, now it now it's come, now we're this late in the Let's Play, that guy just killed himself. Now we're this late in the Let's Play, these, these guys have hardly proved themselves to be smart. Ooh, bomb up there. Both of them? Oh, bomb upgrade. I believe the last key is in this block. Which I'm pretty sure will kill you if it- will crush you if you land on it. I guess I might as well show these- these look- like, these like tomato looking guys, they'll- they'll split into two guys, you know, when they- when they die, and just- just for the record, the guys that they split into have pretty much the exact same abilities as- as other- as other enemies just for the reskin. So nothing too special about these guys. All the enemies, and this level is really annoying because it has magnets that constantly go into and out of effect. Thank god that bomb didn't kill me because I really thought it was going to. Okay, I guess that I guess that green guy just kinda committed suicide. Oh, and by the way, a good strategy to deal with these magnets. If you want, if you want the bombs to go a certain way, you double place the bomb. That thing almost kills you. Oh, another blast upgrade. Bomb 
upgrade. And all the blocks are gone. And also, if it wasn't obvious, these, these, little, these little pink guys were just like the frogs from Tavia. That takes down him. And that got him. Alright, speed that level in record time. And also, so much for this, so much for this stage being hard. For the most part, I've been expecting kind of wrecked these stages. Don't upgrade, always nice. And all, also, those blue guys down there that kind of look like blue eggplants, once again, when, when you kill them, they also split into, into, into enemies. And also, this is the survive for two minutes one. You can expect there to be spawners. And boy, there are a lot of spawners. Honestly, look at how many enemies there are right now. I'm actually kind of surprised I've, been, I've lasted this long. Usually in this world, I die about a million times. Yeah, if you don't keep these, these pink guys in check, then it can get really out of hand really quickly. Also in this level, don't go nuts with the bombs. If, if you go nuts with the bombs, there's going to be very little safe areas. That's why I'm kind of using one at a time. This can't be happening! This Dang can't it. be happening! As soon as I'm bragging about how good I'm doing, I'm, I died twice. And also remember, the bomb can also act as shield. With that knowledge, you can kind of easily survive this level. And that's it. Very good. <laughs> Too late for you, little balloon guy. <laughs> he he landed right on me, right as I right as I fought fought the line. I right, defeat all well then. I'm gonna find some kills. And you know how little I like the bouncy bomb? Take that. Yeah, take that, you stupid bouncy bombs. You never go where I want. Alright, so get the purple guy. Once again, these enemies prove that they are not smart, even though I constantly said they are. Well, at that time, the green guy was pretty smart. Ooh, blast upgrade. Once again, no speed upgrade. I'm kind of surprised. I don't know what I've come by. Ooh, and bomb upgrade that I don't need, but I'll take. Cool. Alright, that should get the purple guy. And the green guy somehow. Alright, that should get that purple guy. Let's see if I can get some cheap shots. What's on the other cheap shots? But that, that green guy did get himself killed. Never get lower bombs, that's kind of a bad thing. Who would ever want lower bombs? Oh, 
get rid of these last blocks. Finally, our first speed up. Wait, you really would have gotten it. I, I kind of said that a lot, so I'm not going to say it anymore. Oh, right, that's kind of a nice cheap shot. Alright, hopefully that gets the yellow guy. Yep. He actually wasn't really that smart. More cheap shots. There we go. And another bomb. I did it. All right. So five levels. That's usually that's usually a good stopping point for for this video. And I'm actually kind of surprised at myself for doing this good. I I still have four lives left, and we're about halfway through. But anyway, that's all for this video. Uh, next time on Super Bomberman R, I'm going to be smart and pause the game. We are going to be continuing through Planet Bomber and hopefully finding our lost and adorable little Balam. See you guys next time. Mechmaster, out.